Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 After the End. In the last episode, we ran into a bit of a mess. Um, for one thing, the uh, vassals of my uh, empire demanded that we institute or reinstitute elective succession, which considering that the vassals in my uh, empire all hate me, I was not inclined to do that. So we fought a civil war to prevent that from happening. Um, the enemy was quite a bit more powerful than us, but with some generous application of mercenaries, we were able to win the civil war. Um, we also had a couple of revolts, a Catholic revolt and a peasant revolt rise up in the middle of that war. We were able to take care of those. Um, and now things have calmed down a little bit. And one thing we were looking into doing is releasing the Ontario chunk of our empire. Releasing them as independent. Um, it's just territory I'm not that interested in right now. Um, what we're going to be doing as kind of the, the primary goal of the series is the restoration of the ancient United States. Um... And so the territories that were part of the ancient nation of Canada, I don't really care about. So we're just going to let them go. Um, and that's kind of how we're going to handle like any territory that our vassals grab that we're not that interested in. We're just going to release it independent. Um, if I do want it at some point, we can always swing back in and reconquer it if we need to. Um, so let's just go ahead and unpause it. Now, we are kind of in a bit of a pickle here still. Um, because... Because of this, if we go to defensive packs and I click on my country, my uh, empire here, the ports of Pacific have been open for foreign trade by the demon faced samurai. Black ships come and go freely from the newly established outpost. Oh, they managed to grab some territory. While those who resist submission to the immortal emperor across the ocean are put to the sword. All right, this day will live in infamy. All right, so. Let's chug a little bit there. These guys are in a defensive pact against me. These guys and these guys are in a defensive pact against me. Pretty much all of my neighbors are in a defensive pact against me. So I really can't declare any wars until they go away. My liege, I was trying to teach the thick headed peasants of Cayuhoga how to use siege weapons when one of them dropped the boulder on my foot. Oh dear, he got wounded. Let's go take a look. Let's see, where were they able to establish an outpost? There's California. Oh, there's SoCal. Is it here? No, that's a revolt. Sotoku Niki of Beikoku. There it is. There they are. There are the Japanese landed in Mexico. Or the former. No, I'm not worried about a marriage with you. I discovered a plot where Tondrick seems to fabricate a claim on the oligarchy of Ohio. Should we not be ending all known plots? Fabricate a claim. I fabricated Durant a second fulfill the ambition to build a war chest. Okay. Have unlanded sons new important decisions. We can hold a grand tournament. Let's go ahead and hold the grand tournament. There's not much else we can do right now. Alright. That may put everybody in a bit of a better mood. Let's see, because my vassals, yeah, I have, a, I have a few vassals here that like me, but probably about half of them have a positive opinion and half of them are negative. So it's probably just a matter of, you know, waiting out the rest of this guy's reign, get to our heir, who's in his 30s. 
He's gonna need some concubines because he doesn't have any kids. It's time to turn it again for the next two months. Uh, I'll show the martial brilliance. How are the redcoats looking? Uh, still pretty much holding the territories that they managed to, to get. It's tragically been maimed. Most unfortunate. And if uh, a few of our, our more troublesome vassals uh, unfortunately meet the demise during the tournament, a tear will not be shed. Alright, he was maimed. My guest, Dexter. He's uh, no one of any importance. Another guest was killed. And also we have the Brazilians down here. The Brazilian Empire. They have gathered up a rather large chunk of territory. Martin Kerbling fought his way to third place. Again, just... Oh, he's the commander of Saginaw, Prince of Michigan. Heir to the oligarchy of mid-Michigan. Governor Daniel of Ohio's bravery won him second place. And Lumen Starkbart has been crowned the winner. Starkbart? Who are you? He's a commander of Talbot. A glorious event. Now the other thing we can do is go on a salvage expedition. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, the people of... I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Uh, let's see if we can get one that isn't Rust Cultist. I was providing a proof that Station Master Preston of a Harpster has been viciously slandering me. My chief diviner. Expose and denounce him. Give me a reason to arrest him. I have no reason to arrest him. Salvage expedition. It's the same one again. Special character actions. My wife. Send her into hiding? No need. Uh, that eh, that's fine. The world's a dangerous place and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you, you that people are trying to kill my daughter, Corvette. Go no, ahead, we'll get all these. Uh, majority of the population of Gore has been converted. The Rust Cult is Faith. Excellent. A lot of territory to get converted. Where is my... You need to get out proselytizing. Why aren't you proselytizing? There you go. Before leaving on yourselves an exhibition, I'm gonna go ahead and set up with, with our men. We're under a regent. Any factions of any consequence? No. Competing salvager. Let's see. We'll get some prestige. Got lots of prestige and piety. I'm not worried about it. Oh, what's this? Oh, a collapse. We plan for this risk. What are you doing? What are you doing, Michigan? Attacking King Carol the Just and Third Michigander Holy War for Niagara. He's attacking this guy for Niagara? Trying to get these things. I don't think enforcing realm peace will actually stop that. Uh, if I go ahead and try and enforce realm peace, I can't. Oh, because I'm on a regency right now. Your expedition turned up very little valuable savage. You've explored many ruined buildings. There's another site nearby we can try.
Direct vassals. Now Ohio is doing something. Does your holding war over Welland? Not all zombies. Okay, nothing. We didn't get anything. Regency ended. Force Realm Peace. Daughter was born to Prince Durant of the Rust Empire. Perfect. Needed a marshal. We have so many people who want to be on the council, but not very many. Oh, you would be doing something. And I. Uh. You need to be doing something over here. Do something. And you need to be researching military tech. My wife. Oh, my heir died. Ooh, that's actually perfect. Because we can now get him a wife that we want for him to have. So let's take a look. Uh, search all. Women, not present, not married. My religion. Adult. Uh, either. Let's see, can we get... A one-year-old genius. No, that's not useful for me. Quick. Two quicks. One seventeen-year-old. Good stats. Yes, you. Arrange marriage with my son and heir. There we go. In two months, we will enforce realm peace. Well, he's raised too long. Oh my. Let's see, you. Let's go in a holy war for the gateway. Opinion of me is negative one hundred. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do. We're gonna make you viceroy. Make the governor of Ohio take you out of the field. Get you researching military technology. So unlanded sons, but I'm not worried about that. Now, are the wars that you were in done? No, you're still defending. Oh, they're attacking him? Yeah, we gotta get this realm peace enforced. There we go. War's over. You will not attack my other vassals. Grant your independence. There we go. But that didn't take all of it. Well, not yet. Defensive pact opposing Daniel the Second Steinbeck has been disbanded. You're no longer threatening. Hmm. <laughs> Good. Raiders. An uprising army. Since when do we have an uprising army? I guess we must have inherited a war here. 
Chicago and her holy war for the gateway. Who are we actually fighting here? Down here? Oh, well, I'll just have to get enough to white piece it out because I don't want that right now. I'd rather consolidate the territories I already hold. So let's do this. Raise my army. Defensive pact is disbanded. Defensive pact is disbanded. Holy War for the Gateway. Gone. All the defensive packs are gone. Maybe let me let me let me double think. Uh, double think. Rethink that. Just for this one little piece. But the Chicago Lander wants it. Yeah, no. We're just gonna get enough to uh, white piece it out, cause I don't want to give it to to them. Here's March over there. So I want to do everything in just a nice, controlled way, if at all possible. Kalamazoo has so far been success. Good. So can we get in there before the siege finishes? Looks like it. Put down the revolt. March in here, get a couple of sieges, generate enough war score to tell them to go away. You serve the title Enterprise, okay. And let's just split the army. hit both these territories. This better be something you're defending. Attacking? Ah. Actually, that's perfect. Need a new marshal. Say the governor of Michigan. This is military tech. And we need to hand this out. Let me just take a look here. Oh, that's part of that. That's part of that. Can I revoke? Revoke a title. Welland. He will agree to it. And so will he. You like Courtier Daniel bequeath the pre-calamity antique typewriter to you. Hopefully it hasn't been damaged or lost in the confusion of his passing. Ooh. Antique typewriter. Alright, we got that. Now from you, can I revoke... Revoke your title... District of Gore. He will say no. Alright, well... That's a little bit of progress. Well, they all hate me. He hates me less, so we will grant him the Vice Royalty of Ohio. And we'll transfer him the vassalage of that guy. Let's 
So, you know, I can't, like, grant him that. Oh, he's actually in, in my dungeon right now. Victory. Right. Will you guys white piece? Yeah, they will. Alright. We will be bringing that into my empire at some point, but not right now. Right, I think what I actually need to do is... Get some more retinue. Some heavy infantry. Some pikemen. Um, and some archers. Let's do that. Benzene is no longer spy master for high fabricator. Okay. Let's see. Anybody here? Let's actually get a spy master who likes me. I got some raiders. Let's do this. Go scrub those raiders out of my territory. All right, now the defensive packs are gone. But... He's getting pretty old. You're a plot, okay. People are conspiring to kill my son. Fine, we'll send him into hiding. Defeat? What? Another army of raiders. Another heresy has appeared. You guys can just disband. What's this? Ohio and Holy War? For what? This? Well, another war I'm gonna have to... Peace out, because this was a holy war I inherited when the... Vice Royalty came back to me again. Chancellor, I guess we'll appoint you just to make you be quiet. Improve diplomatic relations. Oh, look at look at all this red. <laughs> look at all this red. Improve diplomatic relations here. Daily walks in the garden seem to really soothe your mind. I lose the trade stressed. Perfect. Alright, we'll just siege enough. Now, 
there were laws in previous versions of the game where I could try to prevent my vassals from being able to wage war. Which would be very, very nice right now. Uh, we need to... This is my grandson, Dean Steinbach. Which... Let's get him... A diplomacy education. Let's go with this. What? Where did this army come from? Who am I at war with? These guys? Oh my god, what, what, what did Ohio get me involved in? Oh, I actually hold something over here? I shouldn't hold anything over here. What is this? Barony of Middleton. Okay, so we'll grant you a landed title. Barony of Middleton. Right, send it off. Span this. Oh, the... I gotta remember to look at that before I do things. The council disapproved of that, and now that's gotten me a tyranny penalty. Tyrant. Yep. Now the council can join factions. Ugh. Oh, that's irritating. Which probably means because of that one little thing, I'm going to end up having to fight another civil war. Unless this guy dies before then. Alright, a group of craftsmen will come to your court and show out their work. Okay, yeah, we'll invest in them. Oh, my retinue got obliterated. Well, we're going to have to rebuild them. Nope, we inherited the Tycoonship of Ohio again. And we will make you Viceroy. And because we always have to do this for some goofy reason, transfer vassalage of Ashtabula. There we go. The people are trying to kill me, please. Please, kill this guy, so that I can get onto my air and hopefully be able to get back to some semblance of a stable realm. Alright, let's see if we can get some stuff handed out here. We can make a librarian. industry probably should have given that to someone else which I still can give it to you instead venerable elders Ti as title holders victory now will you white peace yes you will white peace
All right. Get back here. And we can go back on a salvage expedition again. Minor titles. Uh, looks like my my guy ran into a bit of a trouble trying to proselytize. Title holders. Looks like we have another commander we need to hand back out again. And it looks like my wife died. Again, not worried about that. Master of the bow. You, master of the blade. You. Or dwarf court eunuch, we don't have any of those, so we don't need to worry about that. Until December 27th, 2889. Okay. Do we have factions? Just this one. Thankfully. Right, you guys can disband. How badly was my retinue damaged? Pretty bad. See, we got 400 light infantry, 1.3k pikemen. We need some more heavy infantry. So I need some more heavy infantry. And Wayland of Covington used a favor on Governor Rich. Richard of Michigan to force him to join all their factions. Oh, for the love of God. Can we get to December? Before that fires. Uh, let's see. City Vassal Opinion. The Ontarian populace of Welland have embraced Rossman culture. Per perfect. What I'd like to do is... Okay. Yep, we'll go ahead and invest in those carpenters as well. Prison, no. Married. Either. Doesn't matter. Actually, any religion, any culture. We just... Let's see. The person who has the worst amount of opinion in me. My son, apparently. Victory? Where do we have a victory over someone? Uh, uh, these guys, I guess? Uh, let's see. Castle infrastructure. Let's, let's get this shipbuilding, why not? And Majesty. Oh, that's right. I was looking for guys here. Great house, no. Ruler, no. Get rid of some of these people. You grant a landed title. Of Welland. Send it off. And we're going to tell you we are going to grant your independence. Yes. There we go. Uh, 
Any more retinue we can get? No. Perfect. December 27th. <laughs> there we go. That pulled that guy out of the faction because it is now illegal for him to be in the faction. And the faction's gone. Whew. Okay. Now we'll have to fight another civil war. We, we would have won, but, you know. Rather not. The craftsman you funded a couple year, years ago returned to tell you their success. Perfect. We got some gold. Well, we are not making a lot of money. Our balance is way down, and that's probably because of all the just terrible opinion. Okay, so... My granddaughter. Let's have her take... Etiquette. A childless courtier with a strange choice of lifestyle has shown men a bit more attention than the women at court. Might it be that he is a sodomite? It is my duty to inform everyone about this suspected sodomite. I will accuse him of sodomy. Uh, really. He's just some random courtier. Why do I care? Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, because we're getting a little bit long. It's been a bit of a messy episode. Not a lot has gotten done. Um, but we're just trying to get through this guy's reign. I mean, look, his vassal opinions are starting to improve a little bit. So we may actually be able to do a little bit more of expanding the empire. I mean, if I could abdicate, I would. But I can't in this version of the game. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.